Hey guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe and I wanted to share my May favorites with you. So to start off, I wanted to talk about some cream shadows that I recently bought. I just got these at CCO, which is a cosmetic company outlet. It's like an outlet store that has Estee Lauder, Bobbi Brown, MAC, Clinique, and a few other brands. It's like the same house of brands. So they have stuff that's a little bit discounted. This eyeshadow is like $12.25. I'm not exactly sure how much they regularly are, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard that these are just really, really long lasting, so I wanted to try them out myself. And when I tried it out at the counter, I was really impressed. So I got four of them. <laughs> so this is probably my favorite color right here. It's called Silver Leaf. Let me just swatch all of the colors for you. So here are the four colors that I got. This one is Silver Leaf. This is Lilac Petals. This one is Antique Gold. And this one is Precious Jade. I feel like the color of the video is getting a little cool tone, but they're all pretty warmish shades. It, it kind of reminds me of Urban Decay 24-7 pencils, where if you swatch it and then let it set for a little bit, it is on for the rest of the day. Like I literally just swatched these and already they don't budge. See? They're not going anywhere. <laughs> Which is pretty darn cool. So if you're going to the beach or have some important event where you really need your makeup to stay on all day, I really, really recommend these. I'm very impressed with them. I'm wearing the silver leaf color as a base for my eyeshadow today. And I just think they're really great. You can wear them by themselves just as a wash of color. You can add a little bit more to sort of like contour your eyes. And you can even just use them as a base and wear eyeshadows on top of them, which is what I did today. And I just uh, think they're a really great multi-purpose product. Kind of reminds me of what a lot of people say MAC paint pots are, but I think these stay on a little bit longer. So I highly recommend them. So I love those. Those are definitely a hit. Okay, so the next product that I've really been... I don't know if it's like my favorite color of all time, but I was pretty impressed with it, is this Leo Ellie Crystal Muse Blusher. And the color is in Soft Lilac number 02. But when I first got this, I was kind of unsure about it. Um, I thought I might be able to use it as a highlighter because it's a very light lilac color. And the texture is really kind of powdery. See that? It's very powdery, so I thought I could use it like on top of my cheeks to highlight. But I found it will start out a pale powdery color. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it turns into like a, a pinky color. And I'm actually using it on my cheeks right now as blush. So it's like the color develops. It kind of reminds me of my physician's formula mineral wear blush where um, I thought it was really powdery and pale and I didn't think it would show up on my skin. But once it absorbs into your skin, the actual color sort of comes out. So what I did is I put on um, like my Josie Marin bronzer underneath and then I put that on top. So any of the pinky, you know, purpley like blush color that you're seeing is actually from this. So it's not like a super duper bright pigmented blush, but it's a natural pink, but not overwhelmingly so. So I don't know if I would say that's 100% a hit, just because it's not really what I expected it to be, but I think that the packaging is super cute, and it's something that I'm going to keep out and keep testing for a little while, just because I think it's kind of interesting that it's a pale purple and then it turns pink on my cheeks. I think that's kind of fun. So it doesn't say it's like color changing or anything, but it does show up, so that's a good thing. Another product that I tested out is this mascara. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast Length Water Resistant Formula. And it comes with a kind of like a scrubby brush like this, which I really like the shape of the brush. I'm a fan of these rubbery brushes because I just... I feel like a lot of times they put on the mascara a lot cleaner without having tons of clumps. 
I bought this at Target in a two pack and unfortunately I, I guess I wasn't looking close enough and I didn't notice it said water resistant instead of waterproof because it has this the whole like blue water droplet thing that usually denotes waterproof and I really like the CoverGirl Lash Exact Waterproof Mascara a lot a lot and this was kind of a disappointment it didn't really lengthen as much as other mascaras that I enjoy that are supposed to lengthen it didn't volumize and it didn't hold my curl at all <laughs> so I, I'm kind of disappointed in it. I bought a two-pack. I'm obviously not going to open up the other one. I guess this is for people who already have full lashes and just want to make their lashes look really black and define them, but that's not really what I need in a mascara. So this for me was a miss. I did not like it so much. Um, another mascara that I tried this month is this Love by Joy Coast Power Curling Mascara. The packaging is really adorable. I usually like Japanese and Korean mascaras. This one I didn't love so much. This is sort of what the tip looks like. It's thinner which is nice because you can get into all of the little lashes. Um, it kind of reminds me of Shiseido Lasting Lift Mascara which I absolutely love which also kind of has a similar brush where it's really really thin and that allows you to get every single lash that you didn't even know you had which is great for Asian eyes especially because you know we have those pesky little corner lashes that it's really difficult to get mascara on sometimes but and again for this saying it's a power curling mascara I found that it pretty much didn't hold my lash curl at all so if that's not an issue for you if you just want really black lashes that feel good like they're not they're not super crunchy this is another mascara that has that type of formula um, it didn't work for me so much I tried it on my lower lashes and it, it just wasn't the kind of really clean long look that I like so it didn't work out for me I'm gonna have to say this is also a miss although I mean come on little difference in packaging how come we can't have cute packaging in the US I don't understand but anyway I have to say personally this was a miss another product that I tried recently is this Holika Holika wonder drawing dot liner and this is kind of an interesting product because when you open it up this is what the end looks like there's like three prongs at the end it's like you could stab somebody. So this is actually a liquid liner and it's um, like a pen liner. Let me do a little swatch action for you. Okay, so I drew a line straight down along the prongs and then I did a little swipe and two dots down at the bottom. Another way you can use it is turning it on its side and just doing like one line. So what I love about this is it's super precise. As you can see, the little points are really, really, really fine. And that means that when you're actually drawing it on your eyelids, you can get pretty much exactly where you want your liner to go. And not only that, but when you have certain little like gaps in between your lashes, this is super fantastic for just like, if you just press the dots into where you need it to go and just wiggle it around, it gets all of the little spots that are hard to reach with other liners. I found it to be very, very long lasting. See, I can just like rub and rub and rub. It does not budge at all. It really feels kind of like a marker, like it kind of absorbs into your skin. See, nothing. So this is also a really great product if you're looking for something that um, does not give like a shiny look. I really hate like waxy looking eye liquid liners. I like ones that are matte and that, that just sort of like <laughs> look like they're a part of your skin and not like you drizzled some black glue on top of your face. If you can see closely, it's sort of seeping into the wrinkles in my hand. So it, 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 it is a very liquidy formula. I don't have that problem on my eyelids though. I will say that when I remove this at the end of the day, I feel like it stains my lash line just a little bit. That's not really an issue for me because when I wear makeup, I usually do wear black liner. But if if you're nervous about 
If you're not wearing makeup some days and you are and you don't want a stain on your eyelids, I would say don't use this. But as far as liquid liners go, I found this to be really great. And not only that, but you can use the prongs with the little dots to do your lower lash line as well. So you don't need a separate liner to do your top lash line and your bottom lash line. You know, like a lot of times I'll use pencil on my lower lashes. I don't need to with this. All I had to do was just dot the prongs along my lashes. And it looked really natural. So overall, I say that's a hit. I really like it. Another product that I tried out this month is, you know, like I know I'm late on this, but um, I tried out this China Glaze Crackle Glaze Polish. If you can see on my nails, I have them on my thumb and my fourth finger. I will do a, a, like a full video showing, you know, the application so you can see it crackling. I don't know if I am huge on the crackle train. But out of all of the crackle polishes, I think the white one is probably my favorite. Um, I think I want to try it next using gold underneath with white on top because I saw that um, on my friend, um, Worship at the House of Blues. If you want to see her blog, like I'll link it in the more info box down there. But it looked really pretty on her, so I did my own variation with this light purple. I'm wearing a Sally Hansen nail polish. I'll put the name in the more info box and I just use the white crackle on top of it. Again, I'm going to do a full video so I'll talk a little bit more about it there but um, it works well. It applies really fast. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's good so I just wanted to throw that in there. So finally, I wanted to talk about this sunblock that I've been using. I tried it kind of a couple years ago because my mother-in-law had it and I really liked the feel of it but I didn't get to use it a whole lot. I finally went out and bought, bought it for myself this year. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock in SPF 45. So the cool thing about this is the texture because there's a lot of sunscreens out there but I just think this one is extra special because the dry touch is is for real. See, it comes out very like liquidy like any other sunscreen. Did you see how fast that absorbed? As soon as you rub it in, I don't even know how it does it, but like it's gone. It's not, it doesn't leave that greasy, shiny look on your skin. And it works really well because I was outside on the Wave Runner at the lake for quite a while, but I didn't get any tan lines, so I, I would say it works really well. And it has a very fresh smell. There's a bit of that sunscreen smell to it, but it's not really heavy and coconutty like a lot of the other sunscreens. It's just like really, really fresh. So it's something that I could use even if I weren't like specifically going to the beach or something like that. And I don't think that it would be too overwhelming and everybody would just think, oh, you're wearing SPF 45 on a regular day. So highly recommend. That's definitely a, a hit for me. Oh, I forgot. I, I was going to wrap everything up, but there's one more hit that I am in love with. This is a necklace that I got from Forever 21. As you can see, it has a little mirror, like an actual working mirror. But look, it's like a miniature version of my pink Princess Leo Ellie mirror. <laughs> I know I'm such a dork, but as soon as I saw it, I like flipped out and I said, I need to get that because it's like the mirror I use in all of my videos. <laughs> I only got this like a few weeks ago, like maybe a couple weeks ago. So hopefully it's still in store. This is like, the big version and then the little mini version. <laughs> I love it so much. It even has like the little rose in the center. So anyway, I've been wearing that quite often and I feel like it's sort of like my little secret. <laughs> like a little inside joke with myself. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that is about it. Um, wanted to let you know that I'm wearing that Estee Lauder silver leaf on my eyes with satin taupe and vex as the eyeshadows and on my lips I am wearing Dior Addict High Shine lipstick in Coral Sensation but of course that line has been discontinued and replaced by the new Dior Addict lipsticks 
so I think if you go to Carla Sugar's website, she has like a list of comparable shades, so. I, I mean, I'll list what I have, but just know that the whole line has been discontinued, which sucks because it was like my favorite lipstick line. But anyway, that's what I'm wearing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Subscribe up there, follow me on Twitter if you want, and visit my blog for more info. That's from headtoe.com. This is Jen. I will talk to you later. Bye.